For the last half century, one consistent staple at the landscape of international women's tennis has been Fern Lee Peachy Kellmeyer. Before she became the first ever employee of the Women's Tennis Association, junior tennis titles found their way on her mantle starting at age 11. By age 15, the native of Wheeling, West Virginia was competing at the U.S. Championships, the youngest at the time to play at Forest Hills. In the early 1970s, when professional women's tennis was in its infancy, Kellmeyer was a tireless supporter of women's tennis and the WTA. She has been at the center of all major policy decisions and helped the WTA grow into a global circuit played in 33 countries around the world, now offering over $87 million in prize money. I remember Pichu when I played, and I haven't played since the Taft administration. So what I tend to think about Pichu is that, boy, she's at least as old as I am. <laughs> to me, she was the glue that kept it all together, especially in the formative years, you know, the first 10 years when we were getting going, and it was all a growing experience for everyone. She was always there. You know, I knew her as a player. I've known her for so long. All the players really have respected her, and I think they needed that, that constant factor in the game. Peachy and I go way back. We played junior tennis together. Um, she loves tennis. She's the only person at the WTA who started when we founded it in 1973 on all the way through still, still uh, with the WTA. Peachy has done more behind the scenes for our sport than anybody I've ever known. Never wants to be out front, always wants to be in the, in the background helping and making a difference. Peachy was the one that was on the other end of the phone in the late 70s from the WTA tour trying to get player commitment filled for all the tournaments. She was kind of like the link between the players and the tournaments. And then as decades would pass and I would become more involved with uh, the business side and being on the board of the WTA, I, I realized that Peachy has had a unique role over so many decades and so many administrators as kind of the glue between the tournaments, the ITF, the players, and, and really tournaments all tier levels worldwide. Earlier this year at the Sony Ericsson Open in Key Biscayne, a party was held in her honor where many of the tennis world's greats reflected on Peachy's lifetime commitment to women's tennis. Peachy is so special, not only to the WTA, but to everyone, because Peachy is a mother figure. She is kind and sweet and loving and loyal, and um, without Peachy, I don't think uh, we'd be where we are today. She's been uh, somebody who's been behind the scene, you know, just actively pushing for women's tennis back in the 70s when we first started. And uh, so uh, it's nice that she's being recognized as uh, someone who's been very instrumental in women's tennis. The best female tennis player ever to come out of West Virginia. And she was terrific enough to play on the men's varsity at the University of Miami. Can you imagine that? And I remember I used to, I sort of got, when I would talk to her, I got the idea that she is what I've said, the woman behind the scenes. And whenever I needed something on a story, I would call Peachy and she would say, don't you tell who gave you this, and I never did. The International Tennis Hall of Fame is pleased to recognize the lifelong contributions of one of the unsung heroes of women's tennis, the behind-the-scenes icon of the WTA, Peachy Kellmeyer. Mm -hmm.